thumbnails a key element to YouTube videos. No clicks, no views, no growth, no future. With the invention of all these fancy new AI tools, is there anything out there that can help us create high quality thumbnails that win the viewers click and grow our channels without having to spend hundreds of hours mastering Photoshop? Maybe there is. Pixels AI is a new tool that caught my eye on Twitter, X, whatever it's called these days. I went down a YouTube guru rabbit hole one day and started seeing posts about this tool that promises to deliver eye-catching thumbnails in a matter of seconds by utilizing AI. So I took out my credit card, I signed up, and I created this video to show you exactly what I found. So the software we're going to use is Pixels AI. Now it's important to note that this is in beta mode so there are improvements taking place constantly. So the website is pixels.com and I'm going to put all the links in the description so it's nice and easy for you. And you can see here that the purpose of Pixels AI is to create thumbnails in seconds. No delays, no surprises, no hidden fees and you can cancel any time. So it's very flexible. Now they have just introduced a free trial but if you want to know how much it costs we just scroll down I signed up for $22.50 a month and that was um, a promotion they were running at Christmas the price now is 30 a month if you want to create around 50 thumbnails but you can use this and you can slide it a across as appropriate and you can see the price will change and it tells you down here what you've got now it's important to note that like a lot of AI tools this is a credit based system so they'll give you 500 credits which is roughly 50 thumbnails now you can add more you can add to it at the end of the month if you've run out it's up to you it's very easy very flexible but if you just want to try it then go to this page and use the free trial and just give it a try and see what you think now once you've joined up you'll then join a discord channel now it's really easy to use i'm an old timer and to be honest discord is a little bit alien to me but it's once you're in it's very very easy now on the side you've got different uh, kind of feeds you've got showcases there's a how to here which tells you exactly what you need to do and while some of this might look um, a little bit complex if you're used to using maybe just a nice UI where you just type in what you want and generate, it's actually very easy. So I'll show you how easy this is. Now we've got this Pixels AI bot down here. What you actually do to generate thumbnails is you send that AI bot a message. Now you can type the message in there, but I've already got a message feed open. So I'm just gonna go to my Discord direct messages. And you can see here that we've got various kind of message history from when I've generated other thumbnails. Now I'm just gonna type in a prompt. Now half of the challenge here is creating the prompt. So I'm just gonna go to their site and I'm gonna see if I can find a good example. So if we go to their website, this shows what the process is. Now, I appreciate this is a marketing image, it's to make the website look good, but let's go for something similar to this. So they've done an example here. Um, I need a thumbnail for my video and I've put the video title. It should feature a split image design illustrating the before and after transformation. So let's type something similar in. Then we just press enter. And you'll see there that the AI bot is now generating your thumbnail. Now this is really quick. It probably takes roughly on average, I'd say around about 30 seconds, which is absolutely rapid when you consider how long it would take to um, outsource or do this yourself. Now, before we look at the result for that, I just want to explain the prompt a little bit further. AI is changing the game across many industries, but all of the tools that I've seen all require good prompt builders and a dependence on that initial input. Pixels do provide more detail in the Discord group about prompts, and you can also find them in the alt text on X. The key is to having that idea being clear and concise with your prompt input. Back to the thumbnail that we just created and also to look at the pros and cons before I explain whether I'm gonna be canceling or keeping my own Pixels subscription. Okay, so I did say this would come back in less than 30 seconds. It took longer because it actually, like any good demonstration, fell on its face and failed the first time. Told me that there was a content policy reason. I typed it in again, pressed submit again, and it came back um, with an actual result this time. Now you can see here, it tells me how many credits I've got remaining, so approximately 44. So this is the second month that I've had access to this tool. And it'll tell me that this downloads, the download expires in seven days. You've got some buttons underneath here which will download the HD version and also a version that's less than 2 meg because there is a limit on YouTube with the size of the file that you upload so if you just wanted to use it raw then it's, um, it's worth downloading this one and then you can edit it appropriately. 
If you're not happy with the results, you can either change your prompt and send another message, or you can hit redo. It's important to note that if you just click redo or you send another one, that's in effect creating another thumbnail, and therefore you're gonna use more of your credits. So if you're not happy with it, you don't get that credit back. But the question is, has it worked? So we asked for how to build our muscles fast. That's gonna be the video that we create. And this is the result that came back. Um, technically, it's it's got a split screen. I'm not sure how much of a transformation because I'm guessing this is the side that's kind of ripped and this isn't. But I mean, that still looks, <laughs> it still looks fairly ripped to me. Certainly not like my arm muscles. Um, and it's also got a little bit of detail in the back, which looks like possibly pills or something, um, as well as the two drinks. So. You let me know in the comments what you think of that. Would you be happy with that if that was your video? In the meantime, let me just type in a couple of more quick examples. And this time I'm gonna take some of the extra detail out and we'll just do it a little bit simpler and give it a real open playing field to work with. So I've just submitted three different examples and we'll see what results come back for them. So let's give these a very quick critique and I'm gonna tell you my thoughts on Pixels AI and whether I will be canceling my subscription or persisting a little bit longer. So this was the golf one, how to take the perfect golf shot. I mean, I don't mind the graphics and how it looks and I think you could work with that. I think you could add in some circles, some arrows and some intriguing text and you could take this picture and import it into Canva and Photoshop to get the text just right. Couple of flawed things that I can see is that the club is broken. He's already took his swing, yet the ball is there. So it's not that perfect because it looks like he's missed the ball. The second one um, I actually quite like. I like the fact that it's politicians. The, the background scene looks good. It kind of um, suggests that it's a, at a presidential election and they are gonna be competing against each other. The bits I don't like is I told it not to add text. It has added text and that text is absolute garbage. So that would then need, again, importing into Canva, Photoshop, and then maybe editing and overlaying with something else. The last one was this software will help you grow on YouTube. Again, I've been very, very simplistic with these prompts and maybe I should give them more detail. Um, I'm not too sure with this one. It does have some text on there when I told it not to that says analytics. It's far too small a detail as well. And it looks like the guy's missing the head, which is a bit of a red flag. Now, don't let these three images put you off completely because some of these we could actually work with. And I'm gonna show you something now. And this is what I need you to consider when you're thinking about pixels. So in terms of what I really like about Pixels, well firstly, it's a very fast way of generating multiple thumbnails. Now YouTube's got the option that they're bringing in at the moment where you can actually split test thumbnails and it's, it's probably as important a feature as they've ever introduced. So to be able to generate multiple thumbnails fast and not have to wait for a design and not have to start from scratch yourself, I think is a really, really good use case and I can see this appealing to tons of video creators. So the demand is definitely there and this tool has got huge potential. Secondly, there's lots of new features coming soon. I mean, they're talking about putting some AI ideation to give you actual suggestions for what you could create. They're gonna improve the text part as well. And um, they're gonna have it so that you can add your face so that it kind of personalizes the thumbnail. At the moment, it'll just generate random people. They're also gonna have it so that you can actually provide a URL for a link to a thumbnail that you like, and it will generate a thumbnail based on that. Now that sounds like a brilliant feature and I look forward to seeing how successful that is. Now, whilst them results that I generated, I didn't think were that impressive, you look at the sample ones that have been generated in here, and there's some absolutely brilliant thumbnails. You can look in here, but you can also jump over to their Twitter page, or X, I have no idea what you call it these days. And what they do is they publish four favorite thumbnails of the day. Now, some of these, again, if you scroll down and look through their Twitter page, some of these are excellent, really, really good. I've got to be honest, I've struggled to replicate these, but I do like them. And what they do as well is you've got this where it says Alt, here if you click on that they actually put the prompt that was used as well so i do think that there's a lot of it that depends on the prompt building and that could be the downfall here i could be giving a very unfair review because it could be that the prompt building that i'm doing is rubbish now i've tried detailed prompts i've tried basic prompts i've tried prompts that line up with what they show on the website i've not had a massive amount of success if i'm brutally honest now, one thing I did wonder is whether it actually just suits gaming niches far more, because if you look at the examples, both on their website and also on Twitter, there um, there are a lot of gaming ones, and I'll be honest, they're really good quality, excellent quality, in fact. So I wonder whether, because I'm kind of going for something slightly different, that it doesn't quite work, whereas gaming is, um, is, is definitely somewhere it's got an advantage. 
So the actual results that I've achieved, and I'll just scroll through so you can see some of them, um, I don't think have been brilliant. I think I can find flaws with a lot of them. I tend to find that it goes very detailed. It puts small text in even when it's told not to use text. If you keep it basic like that Lego one, I think that looks good. I think that looks good. Um, and then after that, it's like I say, it kind of puts too much detail in and it just wouldn't look right on a YouTube thumbnail. Now, one thing I did try is I actually tried using ChatGPT to generate the prompts for me to rule out user error, but ChatGPT didn't create prompts much better than what I was doing either, to be honest. I would also prefer it if you could add your own face. Again, we talked about that before, and that is a new feature that's coming out, so I'm not going to judge them too much on that, and I think that could be a game changer as well. One of the other things I wasn't keen on was I quickly burnt through the credits. So I've paid that $22.50, or it might cost you $30, and if you burn through kind of 50 thumbnails and you've got one, maybe two usable thumbnails out of that, I don't think that's good value. I think there should be a way of saying, look, that, that result that you've given me there is rubbish and it almost reclaims the credit. But I do appreciate that could be a limitation because ultimately Pixels are going to have to pay someone else that credit and therefore they're passing that on. So maybe I've got that a little bit too simplistic in my mind. So Pixels is a small team and the app is in its relative infancy. Now I love the premise of what this could do in their roadmap. I'm just not sure it's there yet for what I need. Now that could be my own personal prompting skills and not maximising the potential of Pixels or it could be that maybe it's not quite adapted to my niche yet because it certainly looks good in other niches. Now from what I've seen, I think the team at Pixels will improve and grow this service and I hope to see them achieve everything that they set out to do. Then I'll come back with my credit card in hand, my tail between my legs, because who doesn't want a fast and effective way to generate thumbnails in seconds? I'd certainly encourage you to take a look yourself though and see if it works for you. I expect the features to increase, the quality to improve and probably the cost to grow over time. This is often the case with startups and it can be worthwhile getting in early and doing your own testing too. In the meantime, if you want to know how AI can help content creators like me and you, then you're going to want to watch this video next.